Okay, this lecture is a diabetes lecture by Gerald Shulman about the ectopic fat theory. This is Gerald Shulman here. This guy's a real genius. He's MD, PhD, he did his fellowship in endocrinology at Massachusetts General Hospital. And then the big thing he became most famous for was his work at Yale University, where he was working with nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. And he confirmed that the earliest detectable finding of diabetes is the accumulation of fat within the skeletal muscle. Okay, that's actually a big deal. I mean, there were other research. You can go back to Sweeney, 1927, uh, feeding high-fat diets. A medical student showed that it's high dietary fat that causes insulin resistance. But and you can also look at the work of Michael Brownlee. Michael Brownlee did genius-level work. He wrote that magnificent paper called The Unifying Theory of Diabetic Complications. Um, you can get that from the American Diabetic Association website. And if you log into their site, you can watch... Uh, his lecture, uh, the Michael Brownlee lecture, okay? These guys are both geniuses. These are guys at the top of the top of the top. Uh, Brownlee won the Banting Award in 2004. Gerald Shulman won it in 2018. That's for the best diabetes researcher in the whole world, and it attracts the top brains. Okay, so anyways, um, his lecture, Gerald Shulman's 2018 Banting Award lecture, is viewable on the Internet. There's a couple spots. I'm going to put the link to it below. So the reason I'm showing this to you is, the fundamental problem with almost all the people in the Western countries, the United States especially, is they've got diabetes or insulin resistance and they've got hypertension. And then diabetes and hypertension feed into coronary artery disease, cerebrovascular disease, impotence, and a whole bunch of other problems, ischemic spine, um, etc. So uh, in his lecture, it's a great lecture. It, it really is great. That's why I'm showing this. I'm trying to bring you the best stuff. And, you know, there's like an ocean of BS on the Internet and what I'm showing you here is this is the best stuff. This is one of the all-time greatest lectures ever in the history of diabetes. Okay, so, um, and he'll also call his theory of diabetes the ectopic fat theory. Okay, diabetes is actually real complicated, but that's the money finding. And I'm going to show you another lecture after this in a separate video by Roy Taylor. And these are like the three best papers. If you only know three papers to read about diabetes, it would be the Brownlee paper, on Unifying Theory of Diabetic Complications. And then I would recommend you watch the Gerald Shulman lecture. His lecture is fantastic. It's a lot easier to follow than his papers, which are often quite long in detail. Um, and then um, I'm going to show you one image from his talk. I have one more image for this uh, particular talk here. And then the Roy Taylor talk. Those three talks, and you are good to go on diabetes. Don't get me wrong, there's other great lectures on diabetes. But uh, I'm trying to give you the best of the best stuff here. Okay, here's a typical slide from his lecture, from his Banting lecture, 2018, Gerald Shulman here. And, you know, this is great. This is basically the physiology of when a person eats a meal. So you eat the, the bread, for example, and then that's going to cause increased blood glucose. When your blood glucose is elevated, your pancreas senses it. Your pancreas releases insulin. The insulin then goes to the muscle. It binds to the receptor on the skeletal muscle cell, causes that cell to send its glucose type 4 transporters up to the plasma membrane. They will then allow glucose to come into the cell. It gets phosphorylated right away to sort of trap it and then run it through glycolysis or store it as glycogen. And that phosphorylation puts a charge on it so it can't exit back out through the transporter and it, it removes the concentration gradient, so to speak, of just pure glucose. Uh, so anyways, that's what happens. And also the pancreas, which had been producing glucose through gluconeogenesis, for example, while you were fasting to maintain your blood glucose level to make sure your brain gets enough blood, once it senses that there's glucose in the blood, it will stop uh, releasing glucose into the blood. That's all normal. And then he's going to go in this lecture into what happens in an abnormal situation. When you start accumulating fat in the skeletal muscle, you'll then get resistance, insulin resistance. They call it uh, nutrition overload, if you will. And then the glucose, the I'm sorry, the insulin binding the insulin receptor will not be able to send the glute forwards to the plasma membrane. So glucose will accumulate in the blood. When it accumulates in the blood, it goes all over the place, including it goes to the liver and starts being stored as fat. In the liver, you get a fatty liver. That's an important point. You get a fatty liver from hyperglycemia. Okay, and then once the liver's fat, it can no longer sense blood glucose levels accurately, and it'll keep on sending blood glucose into the blood, breaking down glycogen, for example, or running gluconeogenesis you know, making glucose out of amino acids, for example. So you'll have chronic, prolonged, sustained hyperglycemia, including in the uh, fasting phase. So anyways, the link is below to his lecture. It's a fantastic lecture, one of the best lectures ever given in the history of the world on diabetes. So if you're interested in diabetes, I recommend you check it out.